Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Channel Vids here, and today I wanted to go over uh, public transit and specifically here in Montreal as as opposed to in the US. Now, public transit in the US, it's it's always viewed with a negative connotation that people who take public transit tend to be poor generally, but here in here in Montreal that does not have that connotation. Everyone takes the public transit, the buses, the metros, um, everyone takes those to commute, to get from point A to point B, and generally it's the, the easiest way to get around. Personally, I'm a huge fan of public transit. You know, the longer I stay here in Montreal, the, the more I truly envy their, their developed world-class metro system metro and public transit and it's not that their system is luxurious and and you know state-of-the-art but it's just it's so functional and efficient um that you couldn't ask for more and you know whenever i go back to the u.s i just feel lacking you know because you need a car to get from point a to point b cities are built uh, for cars the cities in the u.s are not built for pedestrians and I think it also has to do with the fact that back in the US there's a very individualistic mentality and I guess uh, you know having the freedom of having your own car and moving about on your own terms suits it better but I think practically practically speaking designing a city around public transit is just a much better way of life for the citizens involved and even in the US cities that do offer some some amount of public transit uh, to its citizens it's typically underfunded uh, not very well kept you know because the 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 real funds go towards uh, other more important and lofty projects all right enough rambling i'd like to for this video i'd like to show you a glimpse of what the public transit here has to offer i'm gonna take you down to the metro Here, typically in the metro level, it's real loud. And so as you can see also on the metro level, you have this monitor that not only tells you when the next train is coming, but it also tells you current news and it just uh, keeps you entertained and informed until your next train arrives, which usually isn't more than four or five minutes at a time. I don't know about you guys, but those revolving doors always give me anxiety. Anyway, so I think another huge merit of public transit is the fact that um, since you're in a public space and you're exposed to more people, uh, you're more likely to run into, into acquaintances, you're more likely to create connections, to make spontaneous friendships, and uh, you know, have more of those special moments as opposed to having you know your own personal vehicle you're more isolated in the world so, okay, so as you can see the depiction of all the metro lines there are four lines so they're depicted by color they come blue yellow green and orange and soon enough they're going to introduce a pink line so basically it encompasses the whole island well at least the, the center the center metropolitan area of the island of montreal because fun fact montreal is an island so those four metro lines basically cover everywhere you need to be in Montreal. Basically what it leaves out is more of the, the residential areas outside the city. And it even, the metro lines even cover some places outside of the island. I think that's an engineering marvel. These metro lines go under water. Okay, so that was the old metro, the old metro train. Now they've begun to un unveil these new modern trains that are exquisite to ride in. Sadly, I haven't been able to catch one today. They've been quite elusive. Anyways, 
that's all I wanted to show you all of the of public transit, the metro system. You know, the buses are like buses anywhere. There's nothing particular about them here, but they run efficient and they get the job done. All right, so I'd love to hear if your city has accessible and functioning public transit that um, really eliminates the need of a car. I'd love to hear how your city operates. If it's more like Montreal, the US. Anyways, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching.